All right, now we're doing 7Q Regex Validate Pin Code. This is by J. Murphy Webb, and 88% of the people like it. 18 machines allow four to six digits, four or six digit pin codes, and pin codes cannot contain anything but exactly four digits or exactly six digits. If the function is passed a valid pin string return true, else return false. Uh, and basically, here we go, five digits false. An A instead of a number, false, all right? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take care of this uh, four and six thing, all right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say if uh, pin dot length equals, no, 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 doesn't equal four and pin dot length doesn't equal six return false all right now we're going to do a for loop iterating through these things and we're going to see if they're uh numbers or not all right so we're going to say four let i equal zero while i is less than what is it pin dot length uh, we're going to say I plus plus, all right? Now we're going to do an if statement. We're going to say if uh, pin at I mm, does not equal, equal. No, 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 I remember what we're doing. Uh, right here, we're going to use this uh, little chart here. We're going to look at this. Okay, zero, anything less than zero a string zero, I should say, anything less than string zero or greater than string nine, we're not going to use, right? So if pin i is greater than string nine or pin i is less than string zero, we're going to say um, return false. And then down here, we're going to say return true. All right. Let's test it out, see what happens. All right, good. Five milliseconds, that's not it. Attempt it. Nine milliseconds. All right. We're going to try to beat that with some actual regex, like the title says it once, uh, doing the concise in syntax. Uh, so we say const here, validate pin. That's cool. Turn this into an equal sign, and then turn this into an arrow. All right. So for this, we're going to make some regex. Uh, and we're going to do that because we're going to be using this uh, test method, which executes a search for a match between a regular expression and a specified string. and returns true or false. All right. So regex, if you don't know, you put something in between two slashes, and it'll search for it. Uh, and the first thing we're going to put in there is uh, one of these things. And this thing matches everything from the beginning of the unit. Uh, and then here's what it says. And then we're also going to put one of these things. So this is basically a container, uh, this and this. So we're going to say right here, first the two slashes. Then we're going to do the container of the caret and the dollar sign. Then we're going to do another container of parentheses, all right? And inside here, we're going to use, not the assertion, the character class. Uh, the character class of slash lowercase d, which matches any digit. That's it. It matches any digit. All right. Equivalent to 0 to 9. There we go. Uh, so we're going to say backslash d. And then we're also going to use this quantifier, uh, this one here, where in is a positive integer that's a positive integer and it matches exa exactly in occurrences of the preceding items x and x we're going to be using the uh, slash lowercase d backslash lowercase d i say so we're going to come here and we're going to say inside curly braces uh, what was it i don't want to look oh yeah four <laughs> the number and then we're going to do an or right here no spaces and then we're just going to do backslash d and six all right 
So it's going to look for only four and only six digits. And that's it. Then we say dot test. And inside here we say pin. And let's test it out. All right, it works. Attempt it. Nine milliseconds. Okay, so it's either you want to write it short or you want to write it long. All right, we're going to submit this one since it's on the screen. All right, very much like this one. Let's go to My Solutions. Uh, 192 of us plus these folks. Best practice in my opinion. And we'll see you next time.